no ha presentado atención tampoco. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, class. Good to see you. Hi, how, how is everybody? Hi, thank you. Bye. Good. Great. Excellent. Okay, before we begin, I wanted to ask everybody, have you been able to get into the platform? Has everybody been able to access the platform? Yes. I, uh, I, I practice exercise. Oh, that's wonderful. Excellent. Okay, very, very good. Okay, what about the other people? Um, have you been able to access the platform? L let me ask one by one. Um, so Alma, you have gone into the platform? Yes, yes. Um, but um, I can be asked with uh, 1.11, number four. Okay, what, what is the problem with 1.11, number four? I write the how well, um, how well do you, how well do you type? And it's, it's incorrect. Okay, 1.11 you said, right? Yes, yes. 1.11. Okay. Um, what I will do is I will look into it and I will let you know. Okay. So I will, I will see what's the problem. Okay. Okay. Let me ask, um, hello, Jose Arturo. Were you able to access the platform? Yeah. Yeah, I can access. And, and I, I have the same trouble with, um, the 11, the 1.11 on, on, num, uh, on question number four. Oh, okay, I see, all right. Is that the same one um, that Alma was asking about? Yeah, this is the same trouble. Okay, so the same thing, I will go, I will look into it and I will let you know, okay? I will let you know, um, if there is any problem. Yeah, I would like to know how, how, I, how I can do it. Okay, okay. Um, I will I will look into it and then I'll let you know, okay? So um, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll see if maybe I can do it um, during the class and then maybe at the end of the class I will take a look at it, okay? All right, um, what about Carla? Hello, Carla and Maria. Um, are you able to access the platform? Hi, no problem. Good evening. Good, good evening. So, Carla, were you able to access the platform? Yes, teacher, I can. No problem. Okay, wonderful. Okay, let me ask Frank. Uh, Frank, were you able to access the platform? Uh, Frank Gonzalez, can you hear me? Sorry, yeah, I can hear you. Great, excellent. Were you able to um, access the platform? Yeah, yeah, I do it. Okay, wonderful, excellent. Okay, what about Brenda? Were you able to access the platform, Brenda? Yes. 
No, teacher. Uh, you you were not able to access the platform or you haven't tried accessing the platform? O sea, Brenda, o sea, usted, usted no puede accesar la plataforma o aún no lo ha intentado? No lo he intentado aún, teacher. Ahorita lo hago. Ok, ok, no problem, no problem. Ok, eh, please do that tonight and let me know. If you have any problems, please let me know uh, if you have problems with accessing the platform. Ok, ok, good. Um, Oscar, Oscar Castillo, can you access the platform? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Very good. Okay. And Ana, uh, Ana Menjivar? No problem, teacher. Perfect. Okay, good. All right. And um, did I ask uh, Rosa, Rosa Lopez? Yes, teacher. I did it. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Carla Ortiz, can you access the platform? I don't listen, teacher. Oh, okay, no problem. My question was, can you access the platform, Carla? Uh, Todavía no, teacher, porque se me complicó mucho hacerlo en el trabajo, pero esperaría esta noche ya ingresar. O sea que no es que tiene usted problemas para accesar, sino que uh, no puede, no puede, no es que no pueda acceder al, a la plataforma, sino que todavía no ha tenido sí, chance de acabo, de acabo de tratar de ingresar con el link, pero me tiro una serie de como un montón de módulos, entonces eh, ya no me pude entretener tanto, o sea, porque acabo de llegar a la casa, ¿verdad? Pero eh, ya terminando la clase voy a verificar y si tengo problemas, igual le voy a, le voy a solicitar su ayuda. Ok, sounds good, Carla. Sounds like a plan. Excellent. Ok, eh, let me see. Uh, I haven't asked. Eh, who have I not asked? Um, Isabel Acosta, do you have any problems accessing the, the platform? No, teacher, everything is okay with the platform. Perfect, okay, good. And Helena? Yes, you can. I can ask you. Okay, so you can ask for that one. Um, Israel? Yes, to be sure. Okay, good, good. Kevin, Kevin Torres, can you access the platform? Yes, I access it in the platform. I don't have problem in the platform. Perfect. Okay, good. And Janet, do you have any problems accessing the platform? No. Is everything okay? Okay, great. Excellent. And Jacqueline, do you have any problems accessing the platform? No problem, teacher. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, uh, Sorry, I don't. I don't. Oh. Uh, Jacqueline, do you have any problems? No problem, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Alexander, do you have any problems accessing the, the platform? Um. Todavía no lo he, no he intentado ingresar, teacher. Okay. Uh, can you do it tonight? Is that possible? 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, and Gabriel? Hi, sorry. No, I, I don't have any problem. Okay, good, excellent. Michelle, Elizabeth? No problem, teacher. Great, excellent. Noemi, Cornejo? No problem, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, uh, I have asked everybody, ¿hay alguien que se me ha quedado de preguntar? Me, but I have no problem to enter. Okay, great, excellent, Karen. Okay, good. Okay, um, solo quería asegurarme que todos uh, tuvieran acceso a la plataforma. Eh, y si hay alguien que, bueno, hay, hay algunos que ya me dijeron que todavía no han podido acceder. A acceder simplemente por el cuestión de tiempo eh, o, o por la oportunidad entonces eh, si pueden hacerle eso a más tardar el, eh, ahora porque no queremos hacerlo hasta último momento y después pasan que dos tres semanas se me dicen mire yo tengo un problema con la plataforma y ya para entonces es bien difícil pues ayudarles porque ya ha pasado bastante tiempo so, um, Eh, así es que por eso es que me aseguro que todos puedan acceder a la plataforma. Okay, good, excellent. All right, guys. Well, um, before anything, welcome. I'm glad to see um, your faces again. Uh, it's good to see everybody. Um, how was your day today? Um, my day is a very tired. It, it was a tiring day, I can imagine. Uh, okay, anybody had uh, something interesting that happened today that you would like to share with the class? Well, my day is very busy. I work all day, but I'm ready for the class. Yay! All right, that's the attitude, Frank. Very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, I'm glad to hear that, guys. Um, okay, so the first thing what we're gonna do um, is I, I sent you to the to the WhatsApp group. I sent the um, the PowerPoint presentation, and in the PowerPoint presentation we had some exercises, right? Um, so I'm going to ask you to, well, I'm going to be projecting here. Give me a moment. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. Excellent. All right, so these sentences here, all you have to do was put the verb, like often, right? That is in parentheses. Sorry, no, sorry, my mistake. Not the verb. The, ad, ad, the adverb that is in parentheses, you had to put it in the correct form. Okay, so you put, for example, I play tennis on Sundays, the put, you have to put often in the correct place. You put, I often play um, tennis on Sundays. So that was the, the, um, the example. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you to do right now, uh, there are eight sentences here, and on the other page, there were, there were 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There were ten sentences here. In total, there are eight sentences, eighteen sentences. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do, um, I'm going to get you to work in groups, okay? And I'm going to get you to compare your answers, okay? So just we're going to get into um, groups. Let's see. There are twenty-one of you, so I'll divide you guys into groups of three. Okay, and I'm going to um, get you to compare your answers. Is that clear for everybody what we're going to be doing? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to right now create the groups um, and um okay and we're ready Questions? Anybody have any problems? Brenda, are you having any problems joining the, your group? No, teacher. Okay, good. Um, you're in group number one, right, I think. You can go ahead and join. Sorry, teacher, no, le, no, no vi qué es lo que estás solicitando porque se me fue el internet. Ah, ok. Um, ¿A qué grupo de asigné? ¿No le parece? No, porque me, me sacó. Ok. Uh, vamos a ver. Ahorita lo voy a asignar. ¿Ya le parece? Brenda? The number five is John is always upset. Okay. okay. The six, Isabel? Sometimes he is so um, right, right. He is sometimes annoying. Okay. And teacher uh, uh, is different. Sorry, what was the question? Um, and the uh, six, I cried, he is sometimes annoying. Is correct. Teacher. Yes, it's correct because we're not okay. the verb to be, so it's correct. Yes. Okay. And the seven, Israel. I really, really see him. Okay. And the number eight, Brenda. 
I never have have long that. Okay, I write. Thirteen. Okay, thirteen. I I sometimes take so taste sugar in my coffee. Right. Fourteen. Ramon and Frank are often hungry. Number fifteen. My grandmother. My grandmother. Um. Always. A subject B. In front can see a verb. Entonces. You put in my sister is usually very. Yes. Oh yes, that makes sense. Entonces, por eso es que pensé que era así. No, oh, yeah. Remember to try to keep it in English. Correct. Right? Okay. So I can I see the the number fifth. En la parte de la presentación. Yeah, in the word order, así dice. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. según el orden. Sí, yo en eso tenía duda en el I, porque sentía que se escuchaba bien my sister, usually is very, pero tenía dudas. My, my sister. sister. Is, is, Ajá. Mi hermana es usualmente muy generosa. Remember, try to keep it in English. Okay, so try to keep <laughs> speaking in English. That will help you a lot. I know it's sometimes difficult, right? I, I totally understand that. But the, the more you push yourself, the, the more the, the easier it's going to become, okay? Well, we have okay, a question in the, number, in the number four. Yeah? Yeah. What is the correct? My sister is usually very generous or my sister usually is very generous. Okay, Remem remember that uh, the with the with the verb to be is an exception, right? So the verb to, uh, with the verb to be, we always put the verb to be before the adverb of frequency. So um, you would have to pay is usually, not usually is. Okay. So, and, and sorry, and, and this case in the number four is my sister is usually very generous. Is correct? Yes, is usually okay. very generous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we you have any other questions? questions? Yeah, I have other question in the number in the number uh, seven. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Yo rarely. entiendo que es rarely. Rarely. Uh, how, how do you pronounce uh, rarely? Rarely. Good, rarely. Good. It's pronounced rarely. 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 Yes. rarely. rarely. Well, rarely. thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't have any question. <laughs> okay, good. Continue. Continue. I'll, I'm going to um, go in and help the other groups. How, yeah. how do you pronounce uh, annoying? Annoying. He's oh, so yes. annoying. That's correct. It's annoying. 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 It's a nudging. Annoying. Not so much annoying. It's not gene, but annoying. Yin. Not gene. Yin. Annoying. 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 No, annoying. 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 
it's a legend. He is sometimes a legend. He is sometimes a legend. Rally, I see you rally him. I really see him. I have done that. My thing wings with my sister, very general, general. He asked. What happened? We finished. We finished. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I thought I was communicating telepathically. <laughs> no, we finished. But uh, we have a, a, a some questions in the in the sentence number seven. Uh, I, I see readily him. It's correct or no? The seventh sentence. Okay, remember that you have to um, put the uh, rarely before mm -hmm. the verb. So you say, I rarely. Rarely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, um, I rarely yeah. see him. See him. Okay. And the next one is the 40. Ramon and Frank are hungry often. It's correct or no? <laughs> Remember that there you're using the verb to be. So in the verb to uh -huh. be, there is a there is an exception. So you have to put it in the correct form with the with the exception of the verb to be. Okay? Okay. 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 I'm going to see you, uh, you guys, in in a moment in the in the main session. Okay. See you guys later. Okay. Entonces sería la 14. Ramón and Frank often are hungry. Yo entendí que primero iba el are. Hello, teacher. Hello. Only read uh, the exercise. Yeah, we're going to um, read in a moment. Okay, so we're almost, I think almost everybody is here. Okay, great. So uh, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to be sharing the, um, the PowerPoint there. And all, all I want you guys to do is um, I want you to call out what you think are the correct answers okay so let me tell tell me when you can see the powerpoint presentation yeah okay everybody can see it yes. yeah i can see i yeah. can see the presentation yes teacher Okay, perfect. All right. So, like I said, um, just open up your microphone and tell me what you think. Like, if um, you know you know the answer, or you think you know the answer, go ahead and open the microphone and tell me what you think it is. Now, um, don't be afraid to make a mistake if you don't have it correct. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay. So let's start with the first one. Number one, 
John watches a scary movie. Oh, never watch. You don't ever watch scary movies. Very good, excellent. John watches watches scary movies would be John never watches scary movies. Make sure that we continue using the watches, right? So it's not John never watch, it's John never watches. Okay, good. Number two, I eat cereal in the morning. I sometimes eat cereal in the morning. Uh, can be so any 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 form. Sometimes it's a special case. Can excellent, excellent, um, excellent uh, um, uh, uh, observation. Yeah, very good. Exactly. This one's a special case because sometimes I taught you yesterday that can be used in different forms. So it is possible to say, I eat cereal in the morning. Sorry, uh, sorry, I, sorry. I'll repeat. I'll, I'll start over. Uh, you, it's possible to say, I sometimes eat cereal in the morning. But it's also possible to put the sometimes at the beginning and say, sometimes I eat cereal in the morning. Or it's possible to say, I eat cereal in the morning sometimes. So it's possible to use it in three different forms. So that's, that's an exception. Very good. Very good observation. Okay, let's start with number three. Let's continue with number three. Uh, my team wins. Always wins. My team always wins. Very good. Good, excellent. My team always wins. Okay. All right, good. Number four. My sister is very generous. My sister is usually very generous. Um, my sister usually is very generous. My sister is very. My sister is usually very generous. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there are different opinions about this one, and it's okay. Like I said, it's not the end of the world if you have a different answer than other people. Um, th that's the purpose of this, uh, um, of learning, right? It's that you're going to make mistakes, right? And the only way that you're going to learn is by making those mistakes and learning from the mistakes, right? So it's okay. Now, be careful. Remember that it, with, uh, with the word with the verb be, which in this case we have um, a, with number four, we have is, it, the verb to be is an exception. So in, normally we have the adverb frequency come before the verb. In this case, it's going to have to come after the verb. So we're going to say, my sister is usually very generous. So my sister is usually very generous. That would be the answer. Okay. Okay, next, number five. John is upset. What would be the answer? John, John is always upset. John is always upset. John is always upset. John is always upset. Excellent. Okay, good. I'm happy to hear that everybody had the opportunity of practicing. So even if other people have already said the answer, it's okay. You can say the answer because the more you say it, the more practice you will have, and that way it will help you with the pronunciation. People that keep quiet and just learn a language uh, by just listening and never speaking, most of the time will not be able to speak it well and it's not because they don't have the ability to speak it well 